this wire hanger is going to be tied using the bunnies here is not we're going to be doing two of those so here i already have the slings on the anchor points the distance between them by the time the slings pulling is probably about half a meter maybe a little bit less anything greater than this distance wise i probably prefer to use eights and alpines it's a little bit easier to adjust over a large scale on bunnies here as well i'm going to start by finding the middle again start with your tails checking your tags and inspecting the rope as you pull it through your hand Overhand in the middle. Now what we're going to do is take a bite on one side to tie a bunny's knot. Now the bunny's knot gives you a wire hang anyway because it creates two loops. If you put one of those loops up at one anchor and one at the other anchor, your rope should be sitting in the middle provided the loops are the same size. The, the tricky part here is gauging how big a bite you use to create a wire hang with the right kind of angle. Remember aiming for that? maximum angle of 90 degrees. Now one way you can gauge it is to take the rope, make a bite, and just position that where you want the knot to be. So imagine your angle created once you've tied the wire hand. So I'm going to go with about here and pull that bite big enough to reach one of those angles. Now you know you have enough rope there for just one of your ears in the bunny knot. So you're going to need to double that at least and then add a little bit more for the figure of eight part. I'm going to give a little bit more there. I'm going to tie bunny's ears with that. I'll take that bite, wrap it around, push these two bits through. Take in the slack and then flip the common loop over the top and make sure that lands on top of these two strands at the bottom. Now what you can do once you've tied it is just hold it up next to your anchor points to give you an idea whether it's sitting in the middle and whether it's low enough to create the right kind of angle. Now I'm happy with that where it is, so I'm just going to leave this one hanging and take the opposite side of the overhand and repeat that exact same thing. I'll tie this one a little bit smaller just so I can show you how to adjust it if you did need to. slightly out. We're mainly looking for it to be in line this way so that the share and the load equal. If you did however have a bunny's knot or a Y hand created that was a little bit too high, you weren't quite happy with the angle, you just add more rope from the box. So if you push it in just like you would if you were adjusting a figure of eight, just feed that excess slack around until it eventually comes out in one of your loops. And what that's done is it's, it's offset the Y hand. So we don't want it offset in this case, we want it in the middle. This common loop when you flip over the top and you tie the bunny's knot, that controls both of these. So if you ever need to either offset them or even them out, all you need to use is this common loop. Pull down on one side and that slap will slip straight across into the other side. Again, we're going to finish off with stopping knots on the bottom, a minimum of 30 centimetres from the end.